Hi, this is Byron from Dennis and Yachting, and today I'm going to take you aboard this 2005 Leopard 40. Their current owners have had her since 2018, and they've done a lot of upgrades to her. Uh, for example, they've updated the sails. Uh, the head sail is newer, it's 130% uh, Genoa. The main sail has been replaced, the sail bag has been replaced, all the running rigging has been replaced, the sending rigging was replaced, all since 2018. And then there's a wing acre asymmetrical spinnaker. Uh, it's uh, different from an asymmetrical because it has a little flap to give it some lift. Uh, it's quite interesting. Uh, the trampoline has been replaced and uh, canvas. And the big thing is that the Beta 30 engines are new. They're, well, they're new from 2019. They've got under 400 hours and they're in really good shape. The owners replaced the sail drives, replaced the propellers with flexofold uh, propellers, and um, you know along the way they updated the fuel system, uh, the exhaust system. They've updated all the batteries. Uh, you've got lithium-ion and AGM batteries for the start batteries, um, and there's a 3,000 watt inverter charger from Victron. So I'm going to take you aboard and show you some of the other these features and show you the layout. Um, first of all, there's a nice tender. It's a 10.2 with an aluminum bottom. It's an Achilles. Uh, I think it has a six horsepower outboard. Uh, it's got a non-skid bottom. And obviously with the Davit system that they have on catamarans, it's really easy to launch. The cockpit has a full enclosure as individual panels so you can roll up sections. There's nice foam pads here. The table has got a good cover. And then of course there's a whole fiberglass roof. The panels in the front are removable. They're eyes and glass. The helm station is elevated. It's got a leatherette seat. And the electronics have been upgraded over the years. The Garmin electronic, the Raymarine, uh, the Raymarine repeater, other repeaters. Those, those two left repeaters have wind depth, wind direction, uh, GPS speed. And then there's an autopilot control. There's an autopilot control unit right there that's been replaced as well. The charts are uh, for all over the U.S. And the two panels for the Beta Marine Electronics uh, engines are new as well, uh, at least since 2018. Stepping back here on the right, you can see there's winches. Um, those winches will control the sheeting system, uh, the frilling system for the Genoa and the Travelers. To launch the main sail, you have to go up to the mast. I'm just going to show you the seating area again. There's a barbecue back here. Engine access is below this hatch uh, on each side. As I mentioned, the, tra the, um, the trampoline has been replaced. It's really good shape. Uh, it was designed for offshore use, so um, waves would be able to pass through it um, without tearing the trampoline. Uh, looking here at the center, um, there is the launching system for the ground tackle. And um, there is a bridle uh, that's all been replaced. It's all chain. And there's some storages forward. Those are for the water tanks and storage. I like on the Leopard 40 that they have these fiberglass steps. Uh, so you can step up easily and help uh, pack the mainsail. 
and then you have these solar panels the outside ones are um, made dotted by the previous owner and the middle ones there the larger ones are since 2018 uh, they both all, all of them work and um, they have their own charger system uh, to deal with them the, the air horn that has been added by the owners I think that's a really nice upgrade show you the Ford deck again Gonna show you the helm station while we're up here. So as you can see, it's actually a roof here. That's this uh, section here is retractable. So on a nice day, you can open it up and you can open up the forward panels. Um, and there's a curtain, there's a canvas curtains that close up here. So on the rougher days, you could definitely close it up and stay dry. So a couple easy steps down below. So we go down here. Next, we're going to take you inside. Okay, let's talk about the interior. So this boat is a, a former four stateroom layout with two cabins on each hall and a uh, center line head on each side. Uh, the previous owner converted the starboard forward um, cabin into a office space slash workspace and I actually think that's a really nice upgrade uh, we're going to get into that I'm going to show you what that looks like that's very useful um, it's not quite a owner's cabin uh, owner's setup on the starboard side but it actually works really well um, as you can see there's this bar as you're coming in so this is a flap that closes up and then you can close the doors. Um, on the left here, there's a fridge set up. The compressor has been replaced, and uh, before it was connected, uh, both of the areas were separated, and uh, the owners have decided to connect it together so that um, you had more space. And so this is all fridge. Uh, it can be reconverted to fridge and freezer, but there is also a Dometic uh, cooler style AC and DC freezer in the storage cabin. So I think this is a pretty nice setup actually. Um, nice settee here. Of course, you've got the settee in the cockpit as well. Turning into the galley. Um, you've got a double sink, stainless steel, uh, force tent, two stove burner. The owners have actually added um, some storage capacity. For example, by putting uh, this and then by adding some more storages. Um, for example, right here. And then on the other side, right there. I think that's a pretty neat upgrade. I really like this storage here. These drawers. Sorry about that. All right. There's air conditioning um, on the starboard and port halls. And the starboard air conditioning unit feeds this uh, starboard area of the boat, so outlet here and then in the cabins, and then the port side, same thing, does it on this side and on each of the hulls in each of the cabins. There's a little nav station here with an AC DC panel, some controls, uh, air conditioning units at the top, the stereo is older. The VHF works, but it's older as well. The VHF up at the helm is, is much newer. 
there's a lot of safety gear so uh, there's an EPIRB there's a life sling there's of course the tender and outboard uh, there's life jackets there's flares that are current there's extinguishers um, and um, uh, there's bosun's chairs to go up the mast if needs be and then there's a portable water maker uh, that is actually quite handy okay looking into this is the aft cabin so all the cabins are pretty much similar um, you have some uh, cubbies to you have two cubbies on this side and one cubby on the other side and there's a deep storages underneath the beds the beds are queen size beds just going around to the other side The forward cabin here, uh, there's new foam pads that have been added and they're split up so that it's easy to access the storage underneath. And there's um, more storage up forward. I actually like how it's open, it's pretty practical. Uh, the black bag is the wing anchor. The blue is um, the water maker. Uh, the heads are, there's a separate shower, and then uh, there's a sink and an um, electric head that's been serviced and updated. Going over to the other side, pretty much similar. The only thing that's a big difference is that extra quarter. So the previous owner added the tables to left and right, and he opened it up. Uh, the bulkhead has been reinforced where it was cut and I think this is actually a really really useful space and the owners have loved it even though they were skeptical at first they put all their tools here and they just used it as a workbench this is the domestic freezer that I was mentioning plenty of space up here nice part about the catamarans Still cabinetry, of course. Uh, and this is the aft cabin. Quick look at the, the other head. It's the same thing. Separate shower compartment. One last feature I wanted to show you is the locker for the starboard side engine. It's about a 30, 30 horsepower. The sail drive has been replaced. The exhaust system has been replaced as well. Uh, there's a new flexifold prop. Is nice access around this engine so it's really not too hard to get in and service it's the same thing on the other side all right that's it I wanted to thank you for um, joining me on this She's going to be coming for sale in August 2021 in Blaine, Washington. Thank you so much. Have a good day.